Hi, my name is Guy Wallace, and in this pack video short, we're going to cover other enablers, part of the analysis extension from performance-based training and development, learning, and knowledge management into true performance improvement consulting. PACT is an acronym, performance-based, accelerated, customer and stakeholder driven, training and development of any blend. Sometimes analysis meetings for instructional purposes are also intended to look at the details of the other non-knowledge and skill content. In my model for EPI, which is covered in a couple other of the videos in this video series, for EPI Enterprise Process Performance Improvement, we can begin to look at the process performance enablers. You'll see at the top there under Human Asset Requirements, Awareness, Knowledge, and Skills is covered. That's what the PAC processes and ISD set of methodologies in a process covers. What we also find out when we do gap analysis, but we can also extend with other matrices beyond knowledge and skill matrices, is to begin to systematically capture what are the various attributes and values, the attributes being psychological, physical, and intellectual. But what also, besides what the humans bring to the process, what else has to be there in the process, in the environment, that the humans will manipulate and use as they do their task performance? What's the data information, facilities and grounds, equipment and tools, material supplies, culture consequence, budget and headcount? What are those elements that the environment needs to provide to truly enable the process to meet stakeholder requirements? We have similar kinds of knowledge and skill matrices for the human attributes and values, the environmental data and information, materials and supplies, tools and equipment, facilities and grounds, headcount and budget, culture and consequences. All of these enablers bring a paper process to life. We can articulate process performance using performance models as I use or process maps of which there are a variety of formats. But to enable that, thinking about the Ishikawa diagram, the fishbone diagram, the cause and effect diagram, this is my version of it where we can begin to look at what does the human bring and what does the environment need to have in order to enable process performance. I hope this video and this video series is helpful to you in your practice of performance-based training and development, learning and knowledge management. I've been practicing, publishing, and presenting on these topics since the early 1980s. My more recent book, Six Pack, covers all of this in great detail.